So in this video solves the problem which you get sometimes um, here in my Angular uh, development. Um, <coughs> the entry surf says, uh, the output error says, okay, failed to compile. Be lucky if you can do, if you get this, um, this error, sometimes you get uh, a get error. And in here it says could not reserve to dot list one component HTML. That's the error was in this case that is not uh, there's a typo error. It's this one. I especially had a look to some other stuff. What was wrong? So the point is that is in here is a typo error. So how can I develop in a different way? So that I see um, that this stuff goes control save. And now you see this is my uh, output. And also there is, uh, if you don't have this point, then now when I save now, you will see uh, the software compiled but the output was still working now when I want to run this in a subcomponent in a list a list and elements then I always have this uh, problem with this uh, that there's uh, sometimes an error Now this runs also. This is in my app component. And if I, before this I got, I've written here something wrong. So this is the error which comes there. Fail to compile. Unexpected closing tag. This is quite good. Before there I had, um, this means, uh, in the source file app component HTML4 line 4 uh, character 8 one, three, four, five, 8 I mean somewhere there there's no error uh, ending tag but before it said there's an a get error so this runs again and now we have the HTML here in component um, in the modules, I think in the modules, no, this was okay. Uh, all I did was I made here an, an error before and then I got a get error, but I can't replicate this anymore. So what I wanted to say is that there's uh, that this one works and there was that this was the get error. Now with my where's my get error? System doesn't show it anymore. The output was get, and here was the error with the comp with the T inside there. So to prevent this one is, if you want to prevent this error, the typo error, then you go take here your HTML, for example, you copy the path or the relative path, and then you go inside your uh, TypeScript file, and then you may enter it in here. And then all you have to do is you have to take that stuff out and now you may be sure that it's there's no typo error in there and now this is my compilation and now the system runs <laughs>